Nice little healthy striper. Hey, how's it going? Eli Flies Mike here. Today we're going to be tying a small olive sand eel flat wing. But I just want to say thank you to everyone who takes time out of their day to watch our fly time videos and fishing content here on the channel. We're getting close to a thousand subs. So if you enjoy the content, you can always subscribe to the channel. And today we're going to be spending a little bit more time and effort into making a fly time video with filming and editing. So let me know down below what you think about it. If you like this new style, um, I think I think you will. Let's get in this flat wing and I'll tell you what the materials are. All right, we have our saddle hackle here. We have some flat wing hackle of different kinds, some olive barred hackle here, a larger patch. You essentially just want thinner feathers that are not too wide and have nice movement in the water. We got our UV light here, rechargeable. This is a loon light, it's pretty good, recommend it. Solar res medium. We got our zap gap super glue. Mustad C70 SD big game hooks in size one. A couple colors of bucktail here. A little bit of olive and white. Doesn't have to be the best bucktail. We got our stick on primastic eyes here. Whatever size you like. Some Bill's body braid here or flat diamond braid works. We got some flash boo here. Kind of traditional flash to be used with the uh, the flat wings. Got our pearl color here. And we got our 210 denier flat wax nylon. Nice strong thread. Get that vise in the hook here. Again, a size one must add big game here. Great hook. We're gonna lay a thread base down. It's gonna stop the material from spinning on the hook shank. habit I have most of my flies getting that thread base down before we tie. We'll take a little bit of bucktail here and it's going to act as our uh, pillow for the hackle to stop it from fouling. Some people use a uh, hackle pillow or a feather that's turned upside down. I like a little bit of bucktail personally. Not too much though. Trim that nice and neat and We'll be managing our thread throughout the fly here. So we'll get some saddle hackle. We're gonna get a couple sizes of white here. And we're slowly gonna get, or we're slowly gonna increase the length of the hackle as we go. Grab one olive barred hackle here. Again, you can use whatever colors you like. It's a nice slim hackle there, perfect flat wing hackle. We'll start off with our smallest feather here. Again, trying to tie it perfectly flat. Sometimes you'll need to mess around with it a couple times if you're not used to tying like this. You can strip some of the feathers and pull on the feather after a couple loose wraps. Sometimes that helps stabilize it. Try and get it as flat as possible and manage that thread. Then we're gonna take our olive hackle and this will be the longest one we tie in. Again, you can add as many pieces of hackle as you like, different colors, different colors of flash. Speaking of flash, we're gonna get about three or four pieces here. And the way I like to tie my flash is generally take it in half, create a loop, makes it easy to tie in. And just fold that right over the hook eye. And just tie over it. And I'm gonna lay it on top. You can lay it on either side if you like though. Take our Bill's body braid here. We'll tie that on. We're gonna take a little bit of super glue. Not too much though. Then we're gonna get some nice tight wraps here, putting some pressure on so it locks down with that super glue. Lock that down nice and tight with a couple tight thread wraps. Now we'll 
take a little bit of bucktail here. One thing when you're tying your throat and the top collar here, we want to make sure we don't use too much material. Especially with a sand eel fly, we want to keep it nice and sparse. It's kind of the trick with flat wings. And we'll trim that nice and neat. And we're only going to use a couple tight thread wraps here. We don't want to build up too much ma thread material yet. Kind of spread that material evenly on the bottom. Kind of lock that down a little. You can use your thumb here to kind of spread it a little bit more if you like. Now we'll take a little bit of olive bucktail here. Again, I'm going to stack this hair in my hands here. Just try and match up the length so we don't waste any. And we'll get rid of the smaller hairs. Trim that nice and neat. Again, secure that with a couple tight wraps. And then you can spread that around. Using your thumb is a great tool in fly tying. Again, manage your thread wraps. Keep them nice and neat. You don't want to build up too much thread. And we're going to take some peacock curl here. It's going to add a nice iridescent color on top. And we'll take about five to six, maybe seven pieces. I don't want to go too heavy with it. Kind of line that up and lock that down with, again, just a couple tight thread wraps. And then trim that nice and neat. You can see some of that body braid peeking out, so we're just going to make sure that bucktail spread looking good now we're going to do a couple half hitches here if you have a whip finish tool feel free to use it I don't use them personally so now we're going to take our stick on eyes and generally we use a little bit of super glue whenever we put UV resin over eyes the reason being is a lot of times UV resin gets under there and lifts the eyes off. So a little bit of super glue, press those eye down, and it just makes things so much easier, especially if you're tying a lot of flies. Now make sure the eyes are even, front to back, top and bottom. We don't want a wonky-eyed sand eel fly now, do we? Not that I think the fish would care. So now we take our solar res medium here. You can use the medium or thick. We've got our bodkin. And we're just gonna slowly put some of that UV resin going all the way around the, the eyes here. And I try, obviously try not to get any in the hook eye, but make sure you go far enough back just behind the eye. And it's best to go light with the resin. You can always add more coats. Because if you add too much, you're going to probably make a mess. And if that UV resin hasn't gone right behind the eye to your liking, you can take your bodkin here. And just make sure that UV resin goes right behind the eye. Because if it covers the whole thing, it's much less, much less likely to chip or break off after smacking a boat or a jetty. Just hit that with the light a little. I like to do about five to ten seconds on each side and then when you're done there shouldn't be any tackiness and there we have a nice sparse sand eel fly again not too much bucktail minding our minding our material making sure that it still retains that nice translucent quality and again, that hackle tied on flat is going to have some great action to it. Especially when you're tying sand eel flies, you want to make sure you keep them sparse. Let's see what it looks like in the swim tank here. Got our new Flyman Co. fly tester here. We'll be doing a review on this tank pretty soon. We use it for probably about 20 hours a week with our live fly tying on Twitch things going all the time when we're streaming 
So you can see what this flat flat wing looks like in the water here. That peacock curl, that bucktail, flash boo, and flat wing tied hackle has a ton of movement to it. Whether you're dead drifting, swinging the fly, stripping it, grease line fishing, these flies have so much movement to them. That's why we love them. And again, that flat wing hackle, that technique gives you a ton of movement out of it. And then a little wet profile, nice and sparse. All right, well, that's the olive sand eel flat wing. Again, flat wings, great flies, Kenny Abrams. If you haven't checked out Striper Moon, check out Striper Moon. It's a great book, especially gets into fishing flat wings and all sorts of different patterns. Also, Ray Bondaroo with uh, Stripers and Streamers. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. So check those books out if you like the flat wing. And again, if you enjoyed this uh, video, subscribe to the channel. Check out our Twitch channel. We do live fly time and we do tutorials like this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can check out the link down below. And again, thank you for watching and uh, good luck out there this season. Tight lines as always.